Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Matteo Blanco here. Clearly, I am not wearing any makeup, and that's because I'm dyeing my hair today. I'm going back to being a brunette, and this is the only time that I'm actually nervous for. Because I've been blonde now for, I'd probably say six months, and that's probably like the longest time I've been blonde. So now I'm like, I already forgot how I look being brunette. But just got out of the sauna and I got a haircut. So yeah, that's the vibe today. As you read in the title, I am going to Guadalajara, Mexico with my family. It's my dad's hometown, and I've never met his side of the family, like ever in my life. I'm going to meet him for the first time and he's gonna show me around his city. I was like, let's just all go on a vacation that kind of be cute. And then on top of that, I've never been to this city, so I don't want to attract too much attention, especially with my dad, because he gets anxious at all the stairs. He's not used to the attention, but this is like my everyday life, so I'm used to the attention, but he's not. Without further ado, let's go dye this hair brown. Let's get to it. Officially come for me to go from this to this. I'm like trying this new product that I've never done my hair with before, and the color actually looks really nice. Let's hope it stays like that. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. <laughs> See you guys on the flip side. This is the final product. After it's all dried and everything, it's a little dark. I've gone this dark and even darker before. So I think I'm just not used to it. It came out like a nice chocolate brown. My flight is literally in a couple of hours. I haven't packed. I'm barely washing. I'm actually really excited, except I have a red eye. So my flight's at 1 a.m. I haven't done a red eye in forever. Like I will always pay extra to not do a red eye, but I'm going to Mexico, so there's only one flight like every two days here. But anyways, next time I see you guys, I will be in Mexico. Enjoy the trip with me. So I landed in Mexico really early, like 5 a.m. I took a quick little nap and let me give you a little tour. This was my dad's bedroom. That's a pull-out sofa bed or whatever they're called. And then this is my room. My mom couldn't come because she was already vacationing in California. I mean, there's not much to the room. Clearly, this is the kitchen and the living area. Then onto the queen bedroom for the queen herself, my little sister. Afterwards, we went to a restaurant on one of the mountains called La Condenada. It was actually really good. It was in third place out of all the restaurants that we went to. Well, at least for me. My dad and I got steak while my little sister got a freaking hamburger. A hamburger in Mexico. I repeat, a hamburger in Mexico. The next morning, we took a tour to Tequila the City to do a Tequila the Alcohol beverage. Tasting my favorite. Honestly, for these next couple clips, I didn't really pay attention because I was several shots deep. So I'll leave the original audio for you guys. Maybe you guys can hear a little thing or two about tequila making in Mexico because I know I didn't. Sorry about it. We got to the distillery afterwards, but I'll let the man do his job and <laughs> explain some things to you guys. Because this is Mateo traveling and not the History Channel. Do this. With these tools here in the wall, being the most important tool, that round axe, that's the one being utilized by the men, by the harvesters, to shave the leaves, exposing just a core. So in the 90s, they tried using heavy machinery, it didn't work out. Still today, and they're injecting steam for one day and a half, and they go brown sweet. Smells in the air, smells syrupy. And that's the idea. All that juice, let me show you in where it's all works, what's all fermented, distilled. I already said this. 
I obviously didn't record meeting my dad's side of the family for the first time just for privacy reasons, but there will be a brief summary in this video. We'll add three elements. Uh, water, juice, and agave, of course. Is the end result of each cycle to two. Alright, one distillation comes out looking cloudy. At this point, it's got minerals and fatty acids. Look at all that damn tequila. Hi, boys. Afterwards, we went for some street food. This is probably my second place restaurant. Unfortunately, I don't know the name of it. And clearly, I just got a chorizo quesadilla, but it was the best one of my life. Then we took the subway home to go take a nap. And I really recorded this because I've never taken the New York subway, but I know for sure this is more up to date. I literally felt like I was on the Star Wars ride in Disneyland. No restaurant tonight because my little hibachi sister was making us steak and vegetables. The next morning I had my top two favorite things, which is chorizo and chiraquiles. The next morning me and my sister went to the pool and it was actually one of like the funnest days because I would order my drink and my sister always orders lemonade wherever we go so I would buy her a margarita but I would ask them to put the shot inside of my drink. So obviously I had tons of fun. Afterwards we went to La Madalena restaurant which was honestly my favorite restaurant out of the whole trip, even my sister agreed. I got vampiros de asada. And then my sister got ferrucini alfredo. But she said it was the best one she's had. And that's it for today's video. Don't mind these clips, my dad actually took these, that's why it's a little unstable yeah overall the whole trip was amazing it was the first time i had an actual vacation without like working or using my phone obviously i recorded the stuff but i do that for instagram anyways so there was literally like no work so i actually had an amazing trip as for traveling to a city that's not one of the mexican beach cities like a tourist spot I actually wore whatever I wanted, like tight shirts and tight pants, like within the central area. But when I did go visit my dad's family, I did put on like an extra large shirt to cover my backside. And I did wear a face mask to cover my giant juicy lips on the streets of my family side of Mexico. Because it is closer to like the cartel area, especially if someone sees someone specific entering a household, that household may become a target or it may not so you never know and my dad didn't want to grab too much attention because if the public sees that you have money for surgeries someone might think you're either associated with them or if the cartel sees you have money through surgeries or jewelry or anything else then you're like an easy target but even with the mask some people that already knew me noticed me from the lightning bolts on the side of my head which was kind of funny because literally my dad wanted no attention and people were still asking for pictures i was like well there went your plan but honestly i think my dad was more anxious of his family meeting me since the last time they saw me was when i was like five years old and obviously i had so many surgeries afterwards so he was kind of wondering how they would react and literally every single family member was so welcoming they took me around town they took me to go eat they took me to like a bunch of nice spots that weren't actually recorded because i actually wanted to spend the quality time with them 
I know you guys were probably expecting some drama and Loki, so was I, but fortunately there was no drama and we had like the best time ever.